Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's popping guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the five best features in Vegas Pro 18. I haven't uploaded this week and that's why this video is actually pretty, pretty long because I'm writing my self-written original album of music that's going to release in 2021. If you guys haven't seen that community post yet from a couple days ago, we are in the studio right now, busy tracking the songs and going back and forth between studios from my own home to separate studios nearby town. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And if you want to get sneak peeks from the music, make sure to follow me on Instagram and I would say let's get started of course with these five best features in Vegas Pro 18. This is the clip that I'm going to use today. This is from the studio where we're recording our music. And of course, on purpose, I deleted the audio track because of course, when we were shooting, we also had a microphone plugged in and I'm not going to spoil any of my music yet. That's going to be for next year, of course, as we have a lot of more work to do. But I'm going to use this clip nonetheless from the documentary where I'm going to show you guys the new colorization tool in Vegas Pro 18. So if I go to the video effects tab right here, we're going to type in the search bar colorization right here this is the new feature that Vegas Pro implemented so let's drag that one on top of our clip so as you can see it actually makes this look like it's kind of like a like 1970s 80s kind of footage which is really cool but we have many many different options that we can obviously tweak right here we have the luminance enhancement if we're gonna put that one to always to output it's gonna brighten up the footage just a little bit because it's of course the luminance that gets adjusted within the program itself but I'm just gonna keep that on none because because I don't really like to add any additional brightness to it. So if I go to the precision, if we drag that one to high, of course, it's going to be a lot more precise. The footage kind of turned out kind of red. So we can, of course, change that if we're going to drag this marker. So uh, let's say that we're going to color grade this one into like a starting, like beginning 2000 style. So what we can do is we can just shift these two markers. So let's say that we want to have it on kind of this preset and I want to point out guys the quality is a little bit more pixelated you want to make sure that you will put all the settings to full because otherwise you might think that it will add pixelation to it but that's not the case so now that we have put everything on full we can see what we can do with the grading so right here it says gain on green and red so if we drag that up it's going to add in a lot more gain but of course if we're going to drag the bottom one up and these two for example it takes a lot of time to progress so let's drag this one down and this is just a really really cool way how you can color grade clips in Vegas Pro 18 because let's say that you're tired of using LUTs or if you don't want to pick like the regular if you press for example alt G on your keyboard that brings up this panel you can also just skip that and go to the colorization tab you can just focus on the colorization and you can also invert the green and the red if you want to take that out for a second or you can just also do that for the blue and the yellow so you can like really focus on different colors and of course the more you tweak on it as you can see in your vector scope it also gets adjusted and you can also do that in your effector scope as well as you can see you will have your details at the top right so of course if we put this one to magnet field it's just going to be a lot more details if you guys find that useful i'd just like to keep that on normal because the difference wouldn't be too big so it just if i drag like the majority of these down it is actually going to highlight the blue and the yellow so if i drag this one a little bit more down and the green a lot more up i'm going to also shift between blue and yellow it's going to make our food a lot look like a lot turquoise but if i drag on the uh, the green and the red it's actually going to compensate for that if you just keep messing with these markers i'm sure you guys will get an awesome result because this is just a new feature and no uh, previous versions have this one and there are no presets if you go to this drop down menu because of course this vegas pro doesn't really know like what kind of look you're aiming for because you can create like a lot of LUT filters and you can just scroll through them and see which one looked the best and then you're good to go but when it comes to this you have like four individual 
individual sliders you even have like the precision and the lumen enhancement so that's just a matter of getting all the settings right of course and seeing which clip and which filter looks the best on this video so that is the colorization tool guys now of course this is kind of a different angle because i usually sit behind my computer of course in this video i'm going to dedicate this entire tutorial about the black bar fill plugin slash feature that Vegas Pro introduced into Vegas Pro 18. What this basically means is that when you are shooting videos that you have like this on your phone, on Instagram or Snapchat, anything like that, of course, if you're gonna upload these onto YouTube, it can have like black bars as you guys are seeing right now because I'm recording this on my phone. So what Vegas did is they implemented a feature, right? They will actually fill up those black bars and you can still manage to get like a 16 by nine resolution filled with, of course, footage. So you don't have to have like black bars all around it. This is basically what it looks like if you apply this feature on it it's really cool i'm really excited to show you guys this feature so if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here the first time watching and i would say let's get started right after the intro all right guys so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 and this is the video that I shot with the intro of my iPhone. So in order to fix this is of course in previous versions when we didn't have this feature, we would actually like duplicate this track and then we would like make that track a lot bigger and then just put on, on like a Gaussian blur on it. But it's just actually a really, really simple trick that you can now just use this awesome black bar filler feature. So what we would need to do is if you have your clip in there, we were gonna go to the video effects tab and we're going to go and look for the black bar fill which is right here in the list so now we right here we have a ton of options so let's go through them and let's see what they do so if i drag on this guy it is basically gonna standardly make the video a lot bigger in the background when it's playing so you don't have to like synchronize stuff up it's all going to be like in the same as you can see right now resolution and everything is synced up even the background as like the front video we also have like a really really slight shadow on the edge that's like a really really nice detail what magics uh, pay attention to so if you go scroll through the presets, if I go a couple down, you can also have this one a little bit smaller in the screen instead of full screen. But we can also place these ones to the left of the screen, to the right of the screen. We can also have them in the middle without any shadow on the edges. We can have them with shadow, which actually looks really cool because it actually kind of make it look like it's loose from the background. So if I go back to this one, as you can see, we also have a uh, preset where we have a non-blurred background. And we also have one with like a really, really, really high heavily blurred background and also a really zoomed one pretty straightforward guys you don't have to go ahead and because i'm going to show you guys what difference it makes so we can just drag this on just like that boom and it's fixed you can start editing like a couple versions ago we would actually like duplicate this entire track then we would make the bottom track like a lot a lot bigger as you can see like that and then we had to go to the video effects tab and like throw on uh, like a Gaussian blur. Let's see where it is. Uh, right here, it says Gaussian blur. If you drag on a medium blur on the bottom one, but there we go. You know, this is kind of the effect that you can recreate. It just, it saves one video track and a lot of time as well, because right now you can just delete the bottom track. You can just drag on the black bar fill preset onto the video and it's good to go. And now your black bars are gone. Even if you filmed your video, for example, like in a vertical mode and you have like black bars all around it and you still want to render it out as a 1920 by 1080 or a 16 by 9 rather resolution right now this is a really cool way so you can actually fill that up and that's how i did the intro it's a really short and really simple video but there's nothing more to it it's like a, one of these features that doesn't need like a lot of effort into it so this is basically how you fill it in and it's really really cool as you can see this is a clip from uh when we were in the studio last weekend i'm going to show you guys this denoise uh, filter on this clip if i focus on the edges of the monitor we can see like a little bit of noise on there now that's a really really small detail and as you saw i had to zoom in quite a bit so you're not be able to notice it if i'm just gonna have it like completely zoomed out and just like regular how we shot it but if you're gonna zoom in if you're gonna pay attention to a lot of these details you can actually denoise these edges because there's kind of like some distortion going on so how we're gonna do that is we're going to go to the video effects tab on the very left and then we're going to look for the feature which is under the d which says denoise 
which is right here. So there's no presets made whatsoever because of course it depends on a lot of different footage. If your footage is zoomed in, if it's shot at night. So if you're gonna drag on the default clip onto this track right here, we have three sliders right here, which is the luminance, the chrominance and the amount. So we're gonna start off with the luminance. Now, of course, I wanna pay attention to the screen, which is already a little bit out of focus because that was not, that was not the focus point. So if you're gonna drag on the luminance a little bit, the edges and everything are gonna become a lot softer. Now, if you're gonna drag on the amount because the amount is on zero, if we drag that one up, it's not gonna like add in like certain blurs to it, but just going to make sure that everything is like blended together and it smoothens it all out. So if I drag on the chrominance as well, there's actually quite a big of a difference. So if I actually zoom out a little bit, the edges are just a lot and a lot more defined. Now, of course, I wanna mention that we had like a door open. So that's why you see like this light coming in on the keyboard. So that kind of breaks all the uh, pixelation and distortion because this is not like really, really dark footage, for example. So this could actually work out a lot better if you have, for example, a video that's shot with like a little less quality because the quality of this camera that we shot it on was a black magic camera. So it's not like any, like any regular DSLR. We even have 4K clips. So it's obvious that with that kind of setup, we have like not like that much blur and that much distortion and pixelation going on. But you guys get the idea if you're gonna go outside and if your ISO of your camera is quite low, you can have like a lot of pixelation. So instead of having like a lot of pixels in the air, you can just use this tool to make it like a really, really soft sky. It's a really, really awesome and helpful feature, guys. And there's nothing more to it, actually. This stock clip of this bridge, and it's actually flickering quite a bit. I don't know what happened to the camera or the settings to what they shot it. So how we're going to resolve this, it's actually pretty, pretty simple. So of course, Vegas Pro 18 released a couple, uh, I think about a week ago now. Make sure to check out the walk through what I, that I posted last week uh, through the outro. You can just click through the card and where I'll show you guys this entire walkthrough and the new features. And one of the new features was actually this flicker control. So let's go ahead and click on it. And of course we have many different presets depending on how our footage looks. So let's drag on the default one. So if I play this back right now, it makes the footage a little bit, you know, go from darker to brighter and it's not really fixing anything. So let's go and pick the first preset that is in this list and let's see what it does. It's right here. It says flicker reduction. All right, so it tries to minimize the flickers just a little bit, but it's not, of course, what we want. So let's pick the next preset, the time-lapse flicker reduction. Let's see what that does. It's flickering quite badly again. So let's pick the other one, which is the add 50 kilohertz flicker template. So it actually makes this a lot worse. Let's pick the 60 kilohertz flicker reduction. So if I play this back, it's not really optimizing, but that's because this is not, of course, you know, set on the video that we have. So right here we have flicker frequency. That means like how badly is it flickering and how quick. So if you're going to drag this quite a bit up. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select everything and I'm going to throw this one into a loop. So it keeps playing. If I put down the flicker frequency, frequency, it actually makes it a lot better. Now the sensitivity, if I drag that up, it's actually going to reduce it quite a bit. And it's just, it's like a little more steeper, a kind of a flicker than of course, like cutting it out completely. Of course, if I drag down sensitivity about halfway, that makes it a little bit better. But the secret trick is actually picking the last one, which is the add celluloid flicker. So if I drag that one on, it keeps flickering like that. But if I put up the flicker frequency, it's actually going to minimize this quite a lot. Right here, especially on this shot, it is actually not flickering anymore. So if I throw up the sensitivity even more, this is what it looks like. And it just reduces the flicker a lot, a lot more because of course you cannot like take it out completely because Vegas Pro has to like somehow, you know, connect these pieces where it's flickering. And if it's a lot of flickering within the program, it's cutting out these flickers and it's like blending them together. But this is basically what it looks like if I put the sensitivity up quite a bit and it is actually really, really mind blowing. If we went from this clip, which is flickering really, really bad, to this clip, as you can see, looks very, very tight. And this is one of the new features Vegas Pro 18 has implemented into this brand new version that released a week ago. And like I've mentioned, if you would like to pick up Vegas Pro 18, the link is down below. And if you're kind of in a doubt, if you should upgrade or whatever, or get a new version, make sure to check out the walkthrough because we're gonna go in detail about all the new features, what's new in Vegas Pro and all that. So 
that's basically how to reduce flickering in Vegas Pro 18. Before you guys are gonna watch this tutorial, you basically need an AI bundle. That basically means that AI stands for artificial intelligence because nine out of 10, if you boot up Vegas Pro and you go to your video effects tab and you type in the style transfer right here, you might get like an error on your preview screen with like red letters that some bundle is missing. So this is basically what you will see when you have the bundle, but if you don't have it yet, pause the video and then I will leave this link down in the description where it takes you to this forum because right here somebody says I tried the demo of Vegas Pro 18 for the colorization video he asked Vegas Pro AI bundle download but where can I download this bundle and that is basically where you need to download this one it is the Vegas 18 deep learning models that you need and of course this is the link by Nick Hope he posted that on the 3rd of August on this forum so I'll just leave the forum and the actual download link this one, this Magic's download link in the description down below so you guys can get started on it because of course, like I've mentioned, if you're going to boot up Vegas Pro and you click on Style Transfer, you will get an actual error because you don't have that bundle yet. It's completely free, just download it, make sure it's on your computer because that doesn't come with Vegas Pro. All right, so once you've done that, we can just co continue with the video and then we can also have uh, different filters on it. This is a clip from the footage that we shot last weekend in the studio when we were recording music. So of course, what this actually does is like turning your video into kind of like a, a really like spacey kind of I don't really know how to explain. You just got to drag one on and you can see what it does to it. If you scroll through the presets, as you can see right now, you can actually create like these really, really kind of like maybe like painting because that's how it actually looks. So if I look on the presets, what the names are is self portrait. We have black and white, the starry night, Pandorica opens, the weeping woman back bark pattern for bark pattern font pattern leaf pattern rick and morty night alley walk our footage is not even recognizable anymore you can still see like my arm right here if i just go to different presets we have many different presets we can choose from because if i play this back of course this is our video and it is just a matter of finding the right preset really cool and it's a new feature that you can apply on it let's say that you want to create like for example like mlg you know, um, what's it called? Like montages and everything. You can just drag on these filters and they're like really, really spacey kind of. So of course we have different presets for different footage. So this one is the self portrait. It's actually not really, you know, distorting our footage that much. You're still able to see me. And like if I lower the, if I just uncheck it for a second, like the speakers right here, if I recheck it, you can still see them. And it is actually just pretty cool. You can also pick the details. You can, you know, change it up to medium. You can change that up to even original and then you can like see if this is kind of like a painted portrait it's really cool you can see me looking at the computer this is my arm this is the engineer looking onto these monitors these are the two speakers so the style transfer is actually like a pretty cool filter depending on how you want to use it maybe if i'm going to be honest like studio footage as you can see is not maybe like the optimal you know kind of footage to use this filter on because who would place like style transfer filters on like studio footage i think this kind of videos would actually suit better with like just a lot filter. But I think if you're just gonna use different montages or anything like that, or different kind of, you know, documentaries, short horror movies, you can just implement these filters on it. And it is actually pretty, pretty nice what they did there, because of course you can still see the previews and the eyes, for example, right here is still visible. So if you drag that on here, we can just mess with the style. And you know, because this is the preset itself, but you can just choose from the drop down menu, which filter you would like more on it and the details you can put that one to medium you can also keyframe them if you want to so you will get like a timeline at the bottom so let's say you put it for example like that and you put a keyframe on it then you can just make that fade into a different preset this feature actually requires a quite a powerful setup because if we're gonna click on a different detail preset for example we're going from low to high it takes a couple seconds to process so if i'm gonna switch back to low nine out of ten might be immediate but if we're gonna go from low to original that can take just a couple seconds for it to process it is just a matter of like having like a pretty pretty decent setup i'm not saying that you should have like the most crazy computer or whatever but i would go for at least eight gigabytes of ram an i5 processor to say the least about 
two gigabytes graphics card if you want to have your preview run smoothly. So if you want to pick up Vegas Pro 18, you can find the link down in the description or you can just check out the walkthrough that I'll play through you into the outro. You can just click on the card and go through that video. And this is basically the style transfer plugin. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. These are the best five features in Vegas Pro 18. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to, to reward it with a like down below. If you want to know more about the music that we're writing, make sure to check out my Instagram page and I'll see you guys obviously on Monday.